this is perfect, not perfect, but this is pretty good goby conditions here. I'm about 20 minutes from nightfall, I guess, or from sundown, and then after that, probably 45 minutes of usable light, 30 minutes of fishable light. But under this bridge, it's already nighttime. Oh, what is that? That looks like a fish. Probably just a... Oh, it was, it was. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, how are you going to spook like that? Oh, no, you little butthole. And I bet that was a goby, too, because it was shaped like one. And it could have been a darter, but... I don't think there are any darters in this part of the state other than the West Falls. That... Oh, oh, there it is, there it is. What is that? No, no, is that a goby? Or is that a minnow? It looks like a minnow. It's acting like a goby, but it looks like a minnow. Oh, 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 we took a little tag at it. Took a little nip. Didn't like what he grabbed, though. Oh, no, no. What is that? I mean, what could it be? It could be... We're about to find out what it is. I was going to say it could be an iron-colored shiner or something. If it's what it looks like, it's a freaking mosquito. It's a freaking mosquito fish. Are you kidding me? Really, you made me work that hard. And you were that reticent to bite. And you're a mosquito fish. You little... Yeah. Had me really excited. Oh, and I hooked the net also. Well, you... I, I might hate you. Intro here, I'm looking for Emerald Sleeper and whatever else could be here. Uh, as has been the theme of the weekend, uh, it looks absolutely horrible. The visibility is so low. These gotta be shrimp, right? And these tiny little things darting around the bottom. Visibility is terribly low. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 there's something. What is that? Is that? Are those fish? I don't know. Oh, yes, yes. Yes, those are fish. Come on, or, or, or shrimp. I guess that could be shrimp. I can barely see anything more than three inches into the water. And also, it's very low tide. Very low tide. So... Went out there, tried to walk out to where the rocks are, which would be perfect uh, sleeper slash goby uh, habitat. But uh, the rocks that they would all be hanging around with are all out of the water because of the low tide. Whereas I didn't see any rocks in the water. All right, I found a spot that actually has rocks in the water that I can see about an inch or two. Oh, what is that? What was that? That was a little fish that came running off the top of a rock. I just, one just came at me, bro, and I pulled it away. It looks like a sculpin. Why did I pull it away? Doesn't look like a, he's light colored. And you know what? I think I need to put a shrimp on too because spiny cheeks, they should kind of demonstrate it. Sometimes they'll be fine with worm. Sometimes they only will touch a shrimp. And these are definitely not jumping on the worm. Oh, I saw, I see a fish now. It's big, like three inches, four inches, maybe not four. The exact size and shape I would expect an emerald sleeper to be. Very thin. He already sees it and he's turning away. Oh, that is, I think that's one right there. It's absolutely a sleeper. Oh gosh, yes, I can tell. I can see his half flat head. I came back, I got it. Larger bait on a 22, and it is gone from the spot. But I think it's right here. Oh, there's another one. Let's see if this one, I mean, I don't know that this is a sleeper, but it's another fish. This is about half its size, though. I think maybe this bait's too big for him. And he doesn't want it. I just cannot believe I found at least one, maybe two, and he won't freaking bite. This, oh, what is that? That, that looks like a sculpin. 
Man, that's a really big, that's probably just a uh, broken goby. This shouldn't have any problem taking a shrimp. This thing's huge. What is with these dang fish, man? Oh, you got it. And I somehow missed him. Else he didn't get it. I, I literally, I saw his, his gills flare as he engulfed it, or I thought. Well, now, now I can't even tell where his head is. Oh, 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 oh. There it is. So we turned on it, and it wasn't there. I was trying to bring it around to his head. Got it. It sure looks like a... <laughs> I mean, that looks like... I'm sure it's a frill fin goby. That's probably just what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. It's just got a saddle on it. That's obnoxious as crap, man. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is what's known as the usual suspect. You see the salty water. So that's, that's what it's actually cleaner than I thought it would be. Yeah, it's a frill fin goby. Love for it to be checkered, but it's, well, it does have a checker. I mean, that's not usual on the size, but I think it's really different. And I'm also, I think checkered, or more southern. Florida. I'll check it out, but pretty sure this is just a routine, regular old frill fin. Let me get the number of rays there. All right. So I definitely found the goby spot. Three potential sleepers. Well, there's two of them over here, I think. Uh, now I'm going back to worm, big worm, on the 22. This is getting ridiculous now. I'm seeing so many of these uh, that I assume are the same as the, the big ones I saw in the deeper water. And they're just, they're just laying there on the ground doing nothing. I don't even know if this is a fish. It's shaped like a fish. It's just kind of swaying back and forth a little bit like it's a leaf, though. Oh, no, it is a fish and it took the bait. Oh, what is it though? Well, it's a fillyfish. Mm -mm. Yeah, fully striped. I'll have to suss that out. Let's just see it. Suss that out later. Pretty. Pretty bit of little bitty thing. Oh, and now let him eat the friggin' Tanago. You're an idiot, dude. It's a female. I don't remember. I think it's gonna be a a long nose. I think that's the long nose mark. Your female stripes are just straight stripes, uh, horizontals. And depending on where the mouth is, uh, and I don't remember which is which, but uh, could be either one where I am. Interesting, very cool. Very nice. Pretty fish. All right, I see some interesting fish here. I'm pretty sure these are all just gonna be killifish. I have my uh, sinker so far from the bait now. Oh. Wait. A mullet? <laughs> oh wow, that's really cool. Yeah, it's it's what I had before, but just spots. That's weird. Cool. Weird and cool. Yeah, this is officially the coolest of whichever one this is, long nose or striped. Just spots. Freaking cool, man. I'll let you settle a little bit there. Cool pattern. Oh yeah, I think, oh. Look at the other side there. And the shade, yeah, really cool. Huh. 
This is uh, something that looks exactly... Oh, fog. You gotta be kidding me. These two giant horseshoe crabs just swam up. One's plowing on the other. Oh my gosh, my heart just jumped into my throat. That is definitely a goby. What kind of... That's the question. Oh my god, this water's so horrible. You can see much better not looking through the... For the love of god. Looks like it might be... Oh wait. Like I, I, I've got eyes on some bars there. Vertical that like make me or that's making me think. What do you call it? Naked. But those little dashes make me think code. One is a repeat. One's a lifer. That's interest. That's. I'm just so freaking happy I finally got one. This looked like the the one that I was messed around under the rock a long time ago. Oh yeah, those are definite, uh, what you would say, code marks or whatever. Oh, there you go, yep. Goes are so hard to get the pictures on. There we go. Yeah, what do those dashes mean? That's what that, that is. Oh, it's not what I'm looking for. But I am always looking for a new species. Well, it's not what I was targeting. I'm just, oh. I'm too tired to show my elation. <laughs> but, yay. This is nuts. I don't know if there's a squid or a cuttlefish. Got him out of the water on the 22 for all of about one and a half seconds. Fell into the net and squirted at me. He squirted again when I put him in here. There's the ink. I'm guessing it's a squid. Just a stumpy one. I thought I'd missed my chance at ever, ever catching these. These used to, when I lived in uh, New England, these used to make a run every year and, you know, you'd get the little squid catching jig and people would catch them by the bucket full. It's beautiful spawning. I have to check out, see what this is. The spawning is really cool. I really wish my. GoPro battery was still running. All right, now I'm gonna get out of here and go try that other spot for a sleeper. All the spots are cool. Let me back. All right, I should have come here a long time ago. I don't, well, that, does, that looks like a killifish. Why would a killifish be here? This looks like the kind of a place to find a sleeper. Now rocks. That might be one right there. I, I need to put a sinker closer to my hook. This is ridiculous. Alright, um, it looks a little short for a, an emerald, but well, that one doesn't. That one looks like long enough. Um, it's not hiding in rocks though, it's on top of the rock. And these all seem to be right here. These two right here look like they've got lighter, like light stripes down the back. Definitely don't want to bite. Okay, here's one that's hiding. That's what I want, is one that's hiding. Oh wait, just one over there. Well, I guess I can just keep on trying to present to you every one of these until they all spook away, or until one of them bites. This one does not look like a sleeper. He's the only one that's not spooking though. 
I saw what was almost certainly frill fin because it looked like a sculpin and dropped the bait. And there it is. It sure is. And I need to get out of here. It's going to be like 11 in the morning in the morning. And one more frill fin. So it almost looked like a blendy darter coming out of the water because of the saddles, but it filled in a little more because that middle saddle there wasn't showing up. Uh, it's, it's crazy because now I'm looking again and I'm seeing all these frill fins and I'm thinking, were they not here before? Or do I just need to look closer? I don't know. All right, this took forever. I thought this was, uh, I thought this was my emerald sleeper. I don't know what this is. This is so cool looking though. Um, let me put it in the tank and see what it looks like. That's freaking awesome looking. I don't know what it is, but it's cool. I wish I had, um, uh, repacked my battery correctly. So that's got white spots on its face. Meaning that I got the wrong one. I don't know what that is, but that is freaking insane. It looks so much like the right shape and everything from the top. He came out about a million times. No, about four times. Three. I tried four times. Once he was just lined up. Let's see that side again. Oh, and he's so long and thin, I thought, definitely an emerald sleeper, but oh, you're, you're not gonna flip over for me. You're not gonna show me that side angle, are you? Maybe I need to give you, there you go. About as good as it's gonna get, I guess. Thinking about sculpins and gobies is they're so thick. Oh man. Alright, that's almost certainly a light bear, unless that's unless it's just a big version of the one I caught down on the beach. That is freaking insane, man. That is so beautiful. There's something under a rock that was playing with me too, and I think that's a crab, but I'm gonna go back and try to get it too. Oh, really? Uh, not really a release video. I dropped them down from here gently, but um, yeah, these are where they are. Or this is where they are. Today was supposed to be uh, my third big saltwater uh, attempt. I was gonna go climb out on some jetties, um, try for some good multi-species stuff, some meat fish, and uh, I stayed out so late last night and uh, destroyed my back so badly by bending over you know, so many hours looking for gobies uh, all day yesterday that uh, that just that ruined any chance of going fishing like that today. A little uh, on the way home footage here. Um, I periodically check this spot out because it was one of the first spots I ever scouted. Um, for my micro fishing and uh, my native species fishing goals, and blah blah blah. Um, and it was one of my oh, most successful spots. And it, yeah. And then uh, construction silt filled it up and, and it was completely destroyed. It appears to have finally, three, four, five years, however many years later. Uh, has uh, recovered because I just dropped it and got a fish on immediately and uh, I missed him of course not coming not coming back immediately 
So, uh, you know, I mean, that's what happens. Sometimes spots, spots, the great spots will disappear. Spots that don't exist will suddenly come spots, depending on uh, the different changes in the water level, plant growth, everything. Oh, oh, hey, 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 a spot of sunfish. Nice chocolatey brown spot. Uh, there we go. Very nice, finally. <laughs> nice to see this morph in this uh, spot. Lovely. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What? Oh, if only I had the 22 on that one. That was a big old flyer, probably. It might have been just another uh, spotted sunfish, but it, like a five incher. Could have been a bluegill, could have been a muddy. Uh, he took that down, too, man. I mean, the bobber was gone. Oh, there we go. All right, 22. All right, hoping that hoping that the quadruple-sized bait will overcome the fact that he's been on the hook four or five times. There we go. Well, that was a spot as well. Uh, just a little better picture on this one to see the nice chocolate color, although it's not as dark. All right, one of my better March trips, I guess. You know, very few fish, but that is my, um, that's gonna be my approach this year. Sort of, you know, took a half step down into it last year. And that is um, not being concerned with getting the most species in a day, only being mission critical on the lifers, trying to add those, and if I, it's going to be a lot of long days like I had this weekend, like I had you know, at times last year where I don't catch anything for a while, for a long time. But in service of the goal, trying to get a life luster. So well, we'll see how it goes this year. Hopefully it will go like this weekend, only without the frustration that I encountered on spring break of Palooza. And uh, all right, look forward to it. Hope, hope I have some good videos for you.